16th Street in Denver is changing, and today the city of Denver celebrated the start of renovations. Mayor Hancock was joined by members of the Downtown Denver Partnership to break ground on the project. It will improve the infrastructure on the mall from Market Street to Broadway, and it should be finished by 2024. With details on that project, here is Denver 7's Colette Bordelon. The question of the day. What makes the 16th Street Mall? Wine and dine, sports, I think it has it all. Answers found in the shops and food along the street. It's pretty much the heart of Denver. It's where all the action is. But inside the stores are the people who make the place. Tiwi Tay is a woman-owned company. Taylor Odoricio is one of five entrepreneurs who are the future of a few vacant storefronts. So we have a basically wall installation that'll be on this back wall. She's part of Pop Up Denver, where businesses like hers are being funded by the Downtown Denver Partnership to set up shop for at least three months. The goal is for them to stay. It's really cool that our brand gets to be down here to help encourage and revitalize the 16th Street Mall. Three. We met with Taylor on the same day the city broke ground on multi-million dollar renovations for the mall, a plan that's been in the works for more than a decade. Well, one more reason to come back, love their city, take pride in their city. Renderings of the finished product seen through virtual reality goggles. Oh! <laughs> showing more trees, wider sidewalks, and more space for people to gather. Having more eyes on the street, that, I think, is what helps create a vibrant and exciting space for people. But even as the mayor was presenting the plan. We hear you, ma'am. Thank you. But we're doing something for the whole city. Thank you. A woman yelled at him, angry at how the city has handled the homeless population. I certainly have seen quite a bit of homelessness and uh, a little bit of drug use. We asked what the renovations would do about that. Bringing positivity, bringing activity, all of those things build a better place. Basically saying more business and foot traffic brings a different energy. I think it's community. It's something that you share with loved ones and your friends. One that Odoricio is excited to share at her new store this summer. And that was Colette Bordelon reporting in. While all of this construction is happening, those with the city say the 80 plus businesses will still be open. They are hoping that people will keep coming. In fact, there's an app you can download on your phone. It's called the 16th Street Mall Project, which has real time construction updates and information on which businesses are open and at what times.